What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Maya. Um, I'm coming to y'all a little bit serious tonight. Um, it is July 31st at 8:32 p.m. Um, and I'm just warning you. Um, I may shed a tear or a couple. Um. Okay, so, um, I want to get the date right. Um, you requested, uh, to ask me why July is so hard for me. Okay, so evidently, um, the video was deleted. Um, oh, that's much better, like, but, um, unfortunately the video was deleted. Um, another day I'll go back and, um, put more detail on it. Um, but... It's July 31st, and um, I don't know how I want to start this off. Um, today is an emotional day for me. I'm um, if you follow me on my social media, um, I posted today, I don't know why, but um, my grandfather's birthday is today. Now, it's nothing to be upset about, right? That's what you would think. Um, but today is also his death date. And, um, he was, like, a father figure to me, like, he really changed my life. Like, the way I am now is mainly because of him. And there's going to be a video of the paragraph I typed up for him on my Facebook. I'm going to screen record it, and I'm going to put it in right
So, my grandfather passed away in 2012. Um, it has been, today marks six years since he's been gone. Um, this is his obituary I made for him. Um, for those who did watch the video when it was posted, um, it's deleted now, but some of you have seen it. Um, I went through and kind of told y'all basically why July is so hard for me, but today is extremely hard for me. And I'm not going to say most of y'all don't understand how I feel because most of y'all have lost your mothers or, you know, somebody else. But, you know, like I have nobody really other than my mom. And he was like my getaway, like. He is a life changer, and when I found out he died, um, I was sleeping, and me and my brother, we've never had a great relationship, um, and this one, y'all, I'm gonna name him John, that's not his real name, but I'm gonna name him John, cause, you know, but, um, he, me and him have never had, like, a real, real good bond, um, it's all love there and here, but it's not, like, close. Um, so, I woke up one morning, you know, when everybody first wakes up, they get on social media. Back then, I was 12 years old, I had a laptop instead of a phone. So I got my laptop, I logged on to Facebook, and I sleep with my door shut. That's just how I sleep. Because, like, if I look out my door while I'm sleeping and it's just dark, I'm gonna get scared. I mean, I'm not gonna get scared, but, like, I'm gonna feel like I'm seeing something and get scared. So, I usually sleep with my door closed. Um... That's also how I tell if anybody has been in my room while I've been asleep. Um, so, um, I got up, I got on social media, and I see my cousin, I'm going to name him Debo. I see my cousin post a status, and he was like, rest in peace, Jackie L. Campbell, and I'm like, what? So I get to researching, and I hear my little brother laughing. And I'm like, why is he laughing? So I open my door and my brother's here. And I'm like trying to go out to find my mom, trying to go out to find my mom. And John is in the room. And I'm like, because he usually stayed in the final. So I'm like, how, did, how in the world did he get here? And so I called him in to my room. And I sat on my bed and I logged into Facebook, hoping that it would be gone. Well, I showed it to him and I started crying. And I was like, please tell me this is not true. And he hugged me so hard and we've never had a bond like like me and him we were the worst the, the most baddest kids ever and our, our grandfather saved us from that and we were the most affected by the situation and the fact that the person that was there was the most was gone it was just hard to cope with so i called my mom i'm just like it turns out she was at the hospital all night and she told my brother not to tell me but he really didn't tell me so when she got home i, was, I lost it and i was just like mom tell me this is not true she was like i, j I just left the hospital with your grandma and i'm like and she tells me about the whole night and and still now, it, just, it still seems like it's untrue. And if you ever had a close loved one pass away, you should know how I feel. The feeling is not great. Um, and it's taken a lot of me to come to y'all because I feel like we're going to grow as a family. And I'm going to have y'all now. And I don't want to seek any attention. This is not for any clout or any of that. I'm just sharing a piece of my life with y'all. Um, I got this shirt when I went to Winterfest because... It took me so long to get back in the church motion because I would go. He would come pick me up at church no matter how far I lived, no matter if we was late or not. I was always at the summer su Sunday school and I was always there for regular church and I was on the choir. And everybody knows at that church I could not sing, but he put me up there and he made me sing "Heaven" by Mary Mary every single Sunday, every single Sunday. And then that song it says everybody's got to mention it, just don't get no better. Not so many of y'all are my close friends, so y'all know where I've been through. Um. And I would cry when it came to that part. <laughs> I'm just like, you know. And he always, he would either get up and come hug me and help me finish the song. Or he would just smile at me and tell me to keep going. 
so crying or not, I would keep I would keep going and everybody in the church would just it felt like everybody's hands was on me. And it was just a heroic moment. Like my grandfather, he helped everybody. Like he was there for everybody no matter if they had drama or if they wasn't cool or none of that. My grandfather was always there. If somebody didn't have something, he gave it to him. So when he died at his funeral, I looked at him crying and holding my dad's hand and I said I'm going to live on your legacy. And I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to pour my heart out and help others even though I don't got it. I got the shirt at Winterfest whenever I got back from church. I found this church that is on the way to that church. But I, I just, I can't take it in that church. So I haven't been in there. Um, and I'm going to go back someday. But, um, I, um, so, I got the shirt at Winifred's because it says warrior. And he's always called me, like, his little warrior. And I was like, because I would be so bad in school. I never made it A. And here I am going to graduate. And all I want is to make him proud. Like, that's the one person I would bring back to heaven. The one person that I would take by my side, like, Every day I ask myself, God, why you have to take him on his birthday? Like, because every day I was ready to spend all day with him. Like, it just it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like stuff like that is supposed to happen, you know? Like, it just. So, um, that's mainly why holidays and stuff is pretty hard for me. The majority of the reason why July is hard for me, um, because of my grandfather is not here with me anymore. But I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna live his legacy because I do know he is in a better place. And for all I know, like he was healthy, but he did die of a heart attack. Um, it was just his time to go. I'm not gonna make this video too long, but I just want to let you know that if you had a loved one pass away and it's hard to cope with it, don't care what nobody else says. If people want to post it on social media, post it on social media. Don't worry about what others got to say because in the long run, it's gonna help you. Like I stayed up all night on my social media looking at past letters that I wrote to him through my social medias and it really made me smile and it made me feel like he was right there with me and I actually I had stayed strong for half of the day but I seen my cousin's friend post something on Facebook and I just just came out but I've been I'm stronger than I was and it's been a long six years but I will continue to stay strong and no matter how long it's getting you're gonna cry like you're you're gonna get emotional but it's better to have people to talk to it's better to let your self-esteem you know it's better because, you know, you'll feel much better, like, right now, no matter how many tears I done shed, oh my god. No matter how many tears I've shed today, I still feel loved, I still feel like he's here with me, it's just the way I cope with everything. Everybody copes in their own way, everybody grieves in their own way, for how long they want to. So don't never let anyone tell you you can't grieve over what happened, because you can't. And in the long run, it's going to make you feel better. So, um, that's it for this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if y'all can get me to 30 likes, I'll give y'all, I'll re-upload the video that I posted back in June about why July is so hard for me. I'll put more details in it than I did in this video. Um, so... Give me 30 likes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you think. Also, comment new videos that you want me to do for y'all. If you want to react to your videos, just let me know and I got you, okay? Alright, MH Gang. We're the best.